Hi there. Today I found an article on Bounding Into Comics that says that Miss Marvel Season 1 will be going on broadcast television. The reason why this is happening is because it had the lowest viewing from all the Marvel series on Disney+. Plus. It was a shame because this series was decent and was much more better than other series that were lackluster, like Hawkeye, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and never forget that masterpiece, She-Hulk. No, 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 no. <laughs> the other reason is that the end of season one connects with Marvel's The Movie that comes out later this year. So this leaves a big gap for the normal audiences watching the Marvels if they haven't seen season one first. This is one of the major mistakes Disney did by connecting TV series with the movies, making it harder for the mass population to follow. There were so many times that I had to fill in the gaps for my son while he was watching Phase 4 movies. The reason was that he never saw the series except Moon Knight. These series should have been a self-contained stories that didn't mix with the movies. Let's go and see what the article says. A press release shared by TV series finale detailed Miss Marvel is beaming to broadcast television. ABC will offer viewers the opportunity to watch all of it to hit Disney Plus original series this summer ahead of Miss Marvel's theatrical debut in the Marvels on November 10th. With the first three episodes airing on ABC on Saturday, August 5th, and the final three episodes on Saturday, August 12th, from 8 to 11 p.m. The Walt Disney Company has attempted this trick before, albeit it does not appear to have significantly swayed anyone. The company attempted to drive ABC Freeform, FX, and Hulu viewers to Disney Plus by offering the first two episodes of Star Wars and or on the aforementioned networks. They attempted a similar gimmick in the lead up to the release of the third season of The Mandalorian. They released the show's first episode on ABC Freeform and FX at 8 p.m. on February the 24th in an attempt to convert viewers to Disney Plus. While it's unclear how many subscriptions they might have generated through the gimmick, Data tracking firm Saba TV reported that The Mandalorian Season 3 premiere had less viewership than The Book of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So as we saw, the reason why they're doing this is to boost up the numbers for the Marvels because they're worried about the box office results. But at the same time, they're using it as a tax write-off. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to throw a comment, do it on the comment section below. Thank you and have a good one.